puppet dears! I hope you enjoyed learning all about the different kinds of puppets there are last week. And there are so many more. That was just like a teensy tiny little bit about puppets. This week, all you need to do for theater is to make a puppet. <gasps> some of you might be saying, or some of you might be saying, <gasps> or some of you might be saying, <laughs> However you're feeling, it's okay. We can make a puppet together. You can make a puppet out of almost anything. And I'll tell you what, I can have the dramatic skills, but I don't, I'm someone who doesn't always feel like I'm the best drawing artist or the best painting artist or even the best person making things with my hands. I'm much better at using things in my imagination um, and, and acting it out. But that's okay. I can still try my best. And that's all I'm asking from you this week. Now, I couldn't go to the store to get supplies to make a puppet, so I really had to use my imagination and think about things that I already had here in my home. So I'm gonna show you four different puppets that I made, okay? Now they're not perfect, and I can already tell you about 10 different things with each puppet that I would change or add on to for next time. But I'm just gonna show you what I have for right now. That's all, that's all I'm asking, okay? So this is the first puppet that I've made. Um, oh, I'm gonna show you this guy first. <laughs> Some people might say I look like George Washington, but I'm not. I'm just a puppet who might look like George Washington. <laughs> so this is a toilet paper roll. I made arms out of a chopstick. I used a marker to make his mouth and his nose. And I took um, like a pin for a, uh, a bulletin board that I had, and I made those for eyes, and I drew a little black dot on them, and I used cotton balls for some hair. He was the first guy I made. Ho, 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 ho. I just thought he looked kind of funny with the, with the, the cotton ball hair. So this is one type of puppet that I just found made using different things that I had in my home. This is another one. This is um, a staple remover. You might notice that maybe your teachers use them when they use like a bulletin board. And I took like a post-it note thing that I found in some of my office supplies and I drew on some eyes and eyebrows. I might look fierce, but I'm not. <sighs> I actually love puppies and I love rainbows and I just like to chew on things. So this is another sample of a very easy puppet. Two things, a staple remover and a sticky post-it. That's all, I can make a puppet out of that. I can bring this to life as a puppeteer. Um, this is another one that I didn't quite finish but I liked this one because he had something that he could open and close. Hmm. Hello. I am uh, living under the sea. <laughs> so this is something that I, is a puppet that I took some um, like tissue paper, some wrapping paper, and I put some tape on the bottom so that it would stick. And I took some cotton balls and I took a purple marker and just drew on them to make some eyes. And what I liked about using this container, and this is something that I bought from the grocery store, I got some fresh herbs for cooking, right? So I like about this is that it has this hinge so it can open and close. That's all. <sighs> I feel like he might be a crab, but I didn't quite finish him yet. Um, and then the last one I made, I took um, a sock 
an old sock. I found a nice long sock in my my drawer. And <sighs> so I made her. Ah. Hi everybody. Oh, my eyes might not quite be even, but that's okay. Well, they could be fixed later. Mm. I'm hungry. I want something to eat. Do you have something to eat that I can eat? So these are just some examples of a puppet that you can make at home. They can be beautiful. They could be not so beautiful. But if you make them, if you spend a few minutes to take some time and some thought, because they're all smart cookies, so if you use some brain power to try to make a puppet, I know you can do it. They don't have to be perfect. They might change, but I'd love to see what you can make using things that you can find at home. The only thing I ask of you is please, once you make a puppet, keep it. I want you to share it on Flipgrid and show us your puppet on Flipgrid, but I also want you to use it again next week. So please, do not get rid of your puppet that you make. Treat it with some love and treat it with some respect. Be gentle to it and make sure that your puppet lasts again for at least next week, okay? So, go through your home, find things you don't need anymore. Maybe it's from your recycling. Uh, maybe it's an old kitchen spoon that your grown-ups don't need anymore. Maybe it is a plastic fork or a plastic spoon that is just sitting at the bottom of your kitchen drawer. See what you can make and use to make a puppet. I know you can do it. All right, puppeteers, can't wait to see what you make. Bye.